Ever since the takeover of Twitter on October 27, 2022 by Elon Musk, following a $44 billion purchase of the social media company, a whole lot has changed. Most notable was the commercialization of the blue check mark, usually placed beside names of notable individuals and celebrities on the platform. The sign which simply shows that the account holder is duly verified. This verification badge used to be without charge, but soon after the takeover, the new owner, Elon Musk, announced that the platform will start charging $8 monthly for its blue verification for individuals and as much as $1,000 per month for organizations depending on the size. A move which many criticized as an act of desperation in a bid to recover the huge amount spent on the acquisition. Several other changes also occurred in the company, many of which affected various stakeholders in the company, but that is not our interest today. On the 1st of July 2023, Elon Musk announced a set of new rules, one that will affect me and you. According to Mr. Musk, verified accounts are now limited to reading 6,000 posts per day unverified accounts to 600 posts per day new unverified accounts can only read 300 posts per day a move which he claimed is aimed at addressing extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation but as you would expect twitter users didn't take it lightly with him as they criticized the move with some calling it weird some even questioned why he purchased the platform in the first place. Despite the protest, the CEO remained resolute, only managing to increase the count to 8,000 for verified accounts, 800 for unverified, and 400 for new unverified accounts. He further extended the count to 10,000, 1,000, and 500 respectively. But wait. What exactly is data scraping that Mr. Musk is trying to prevent? Data scraping or web scraping is a way of importing data from websites into files or spreadsheets. It's commonly used to collect business intelligence to inform web content, determine prices for travel bookings or comparison sites, find sales leads or conduct market research via public data sources. Why data scraping finds many important uses, it also poses challenges to many businesses. For instance, it can be used to expose and misuse sensitive data. Since the data scraping can be done incognito, it poses enormous risk as the website being scraped might not be aware of what data is being collected. Also, the security of the collected data is not always guaranteed. Why now? Several reasons may be behind this move. For instance, the surge of AI tools like ChatGPT and the rest, which has the ability to output data from any source in order to answer a prompt, mostly without reference, may have necessitated this move. Economic reason. You see, the introduction of the paid verification has given number of privileges to verified users, including an undue tweet option that allows users to retract their tweets within a certain time frame, a reader mode for easier reading of long threads, customizable app icons, and access to exclusive customer support. Additionally, subscribers receive dedicated newsletters and get early access to new features being tested by Twitter. But also, the $8 per month or $1,000 monthly equally contributed to the revenue of the company. It won't be surprising to see that Mr. Musk may be subtly trying to lure more people to become verified. No one knows for sure. As the CEO said, the measure is only temporary, but no one knows precisely when the objective of the restriction will be sufficiently achieved as to necessitate a lift. Thank you for watching and 
please if you enjoyed this content kindly give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel see you again in the next one